Welcome back to Spirit Lifter. Our first encounter with the land of the rising sun has us sipping a Belgian style dark ale with a distinctly Japanese twist. Tokyo is easily in the top three for busiest metropolitan areas on planet Earth, and there are dozens of craft breweries dotting the various wards. In one called Shinagawa City, nestled under a railway viaduct, you'll find Far Yeast Brewing. This operation started just over a decade ago in September of 2011, initially known as Nippon Craft Beer Incorporated. Just six months after their founding, the operation had contracted the brewery The Kral in Flanders to produce their special Kagua line of beers for distribution in Europe. The three brews in this lineup are simultaneously an homage to and a remix of classic Belgian styles such as wit beer, Cezanne, and for our drinking pleasure today, Belgian Strong Dark Ale. The Kagua Rouge comes appropriately branded with a red label bearing simple but still ornate calligraphy. The brewers claim that their logo, quote, is a symbol of our commitment to the quality of the product. So simple that it does not interfere with any table scene, and Kagua is the perfect foil to the refined cuisine that should be the main dining table. We'll get to pairing with food later, but first, this rouge measures in at 9% alcohol by volume and a solid 45 IBU. Besides malt and hops for flavor, the brew also has a healthy dose of sancho, a pepper-like seasoning popular in Japan and Korea, as well as citrusy yuzu. You see a red label with a French word for red on it? There's a decent chance you're getting a red beer. But this one is nothing like the others. The scent alone made me say out loud. Oh, wow. Oh my. Wow. It's like the best parts of springtime with refreshing and floral airs. On the tongue, Rouge is likewise refreshing and sweet, without betraying its formidable alcohol content. Further, the Sancho leaves a spicy note unlike anything I've ever come across. Kagua Rouge on its own delivers such distinct flavors that I'm having trouble thinking of what to pair it with. Still, I'll try my best. Let's do something Japanese and Belgian. First, my gut is telling me that Chirashi Zushi would be nice. That's an assortment of sashimi served over a bowl of sushi rice. It's a deceptively simple dish, but if you can stomach a touch of wasabi on your cuts of fish, it will contour with the sancho of the beer. Let's stick with seafood and go back to Belgium, specifically moule frit, or mussels and french fries. The mussels are typically cooked with white wine, shallots, herbs, and butter. The shallots and herbs likewise will play off with the yuzu and sancho in the rouge, and the butter will add just enough richness to offset the eventual onset of that 9%. However, I won't fault you for sipping rouge on its own. It's the kind of beer that deserves your full attention. Thank you kindly for watching. It seemed appropriate to kick off the next batch of videos with a red ale like Kagua Rouge. It's the perfect color for International Workers' Day and a nice homage to the sun on the Japanese flag. Let me know what your favorite Japanese beer is in the comments below. Or perhaps you prefer sake. Whatever your preference, remember how to toast and say proudly, Kanpai.